Hi everyone, this is John. I am in Athens, Greece. Um, I've been out here actually for a couple weeks now. Um, and the only photos I've been doing are just kind of personal, uh, just wandering around um, if I have free time. Um, I'm here with family, so um, we've been doing more family stuff than anything. I only have two lenses with me, traveling light. Uh, it's a, one's a 28 millimeter lens and the other, the other is a Nikon uh, 105 millimeter lens that's all manual. Um, I just picked this up. The, the film is uh, Portrait 800. Um, someone suggested I rate it to 400 to allow for a little bit overexposing. I've never done that before um, with film, so I'm a little nervous but also excited to see what it does. Because um, when I bought this film, my intention was to get Portrait 400 because I figured it's a good walk around film. But uh, it was all sold out. So uh, the guy at the shops recommended 800 because that's all they had. And also, um, I was nervous to use it because it, I thought there'd be a lot of grain. And he said if you overexpose it, it helps minimize the grain. So I thought, eh, well, it's worth a shot. So it's sort of a gamble. Anyways, enough waffling on, let's uh, get on with the street photography. I came to Monasteraki Square because it's a great, it's a great spot to start. Um, there's a lot going on. There's street vendors, uh, there's tourists, there's historical sites. Uh, and then just a few blocks away, it gets more of the local flavor. As I was walking around, I really, uh, something really hit me about the idea of what street photography is or a question of what is it. Um, because for me, um, I want to show a candid view of uh, local life. I don't want to just show um, people posing like, you know, thumbs up. And I came across this lady who was digging through the trash. And I stopped to talk to her for a second and she was super polite. I asked if she had food and she had food. She asked if she needed any kind of water and she had water. So, you know, but then after I was done talking to her, I wanted to photograph her, but I was too embarrassed just to ask her if it was okay. So I snuck a couple shots and she saw me and she yelled at me like, please don't do that. And um, she's like, why are you doing that? And it made me feel ashamed and embarrassed but also like I was uh, invading her space um, and it started giving me this uh, like fear like uh, or a caution of like what am I doing and I stopped to just um, um, ask and pray like what am I doing like is it um, is this for me or is this for art is this for communication or just you know personal I don't know, I don't know personal achievement and um, I, I think there's a fine line between all of that and you know I started asking for wisdom and to know what's the fine line between um, candid observation and intrusion um, so I, I started taking a step back in how I was photogra photographing people So I, I 
started taking a step back in how I was photog photographing people. Um, cause I ended up at this uh, market where there's a lot of activity, but I think it was too late in the day. Um, but this market has butchers and uh, um, fish markets and produce and all this stuff. And uh, I just started asking people, is it okay? Some said no, some said yes. to the last shot on the roll of film I actually got pretty nervous I was like I don't know what to photograph uh, without one shot that's left it's like this better be good um, there's not a shot after it I mean I still have one more roll but I'm saving it for another another day um, so I was just walking around I, there's a lot of old uh, like rundown buildings on a second story or below their shops and so I found this window that just looked really cool and ended on that. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it down below. Um, I still have one roll left of Portrait 800, but I'm saving it for a village uh, I'm going to next week uh, with my family. Uh, it's my grandmother's village that I haven't been to before and so I'm excited to see that and I'll capture it with film. So uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.